And tonight, tempers flare at a standing room only council meeting. A candidate running for council has a controversial past. His critics say he's a disgruntled employee who was fired from his job and he once faced sexual assault accusations working at the Public Works Department for the city of Wald Lake. 7 Action News reporter Rudy Harper is live in Wald Lake tonight. He was at that city council meeting where things got heated, Rudy. That's right. This was a heated city council meeting. People from both sides showing up tonight to express their concerns. And some people told me tonight that they don't believe the allegations in this report about that former city worker who's now running for office. Others told me he's just not fit. Just stop. It's sick. Girl. We're sick. We're supposed to get along. Wall Lake neighbors overcome with emotions at a city council meeting as a race for three council seats heats up. I will continue to con encourage an environment where sexual predators and bigots are publicly outed, especially when they are local business owners or in a potential position of power like city council candidates Rick Greenwell and Jeff Rondo. Candidate hopeful Jeff Rondo walked away from me tonight as I attempted to speak with him about his campaign and his running mate Rick Greenwell. As mentioned in public comment tonight, Greenwell was accused of sexual assault in 2000 while he worked for the city's Department of Public Works. Action News filed a Freedom of Information request and obtained a report that says he was terminated after a subordinate in the Department of Public Works accused him of rubbing his groin against him. He also allegedly, while at work, spoke in detail about pornography, his sex life, and rape fantasies, despite requests from co-workers to stop. Greenwell was never criminally charged in the matter and released a statement denying the accusations. He said in part, I know this may have caused some of you to doubt me. I would like to make clear that this accusation was something I faced and dealt with 20 years ago. 20 years ago, I was proven innocent. Assault is an extremely important issue. One, I do not take lightly. Despite the police report, supporters of Greenwell and his running mates lined the streets before the council meeting. Shame on City Hall for not condemning it. Shame on them for not issuing a statement saying we're going to have a fair uh, election season. You know, they're not coming out against it, so they must be for it. Meantime, other lifelong residents say they can't stay silent. Open your eyes. Right, knowledge <laughs> is power. Um, do some research, some actual research. While a police report was filed and Greenwell was fired by the city, he has never been charged with any crime. To read the full police report and his statements, go to our website, WXYZ.com. Live in Wald Lake, Rudy Harper, 7 Action News. Rudy, thank you for the live report.